Ah, the luggage is hitting it. That's what's making the window squeak. Oh. oh my. This door makes the window creak. I can use this to make that nervous wreck go into overdrive. A nice gentleman. Madam, you think I I'm just some complainer? Some of the... lawsuit seeker? Do you? This is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable! Show me your name tag. Show it to me! Employee number D-3582. I've burnt it into my forebrain. Once I'm home, yes, I am going to sue you. I have never been so mad in my life. <laughs> I'm just practicing what I preach. As you I wish, madam. However, perhaps if we change your any way field, I can talk to your manager? I'm sure the sound I've of windows would not annoy you in, say, and every... business class. Hmm? The seats I've... are very fluffy, too. Business? That's a class? It is, madam. I could show you to your seat. One where I can't hear the windows. No creaking. nasty window noises in business. <laughs> well, I... If you'll just allow me to explain the procedure for your upgrade. I suppose that could be okay. <laughs> you never... What are you doing here? <laughs> this big fella. I've met him before somewhere. I can't remember where. My scar is desperately trying to tell me that he knows something. Lightning! Too bad! 
real bad. Both, I said, you're never, ever, ever gonna get my fake guy, Midnight Bitch. Antonio Zapatero. <laughs> there you are. You're this young I've been hearing so much about. Not like I'm gonna spill the slop on thee, though. What be in there for me? Hey, papi! <laughs> so how about you die, fucker? <laughs> Wait! There's no way to stare at truth or there! <laughs>
Olivia? I warned you. We don't take kindly to stowaways. Just... Who are you? I... <gasps> Olivia? Rabbit? The courier, he... vanished? doing that for? You there. Perfect timing. I can't take it anymore. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. So I'm doing my best not to touch them. <laughs> but I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. I need to try and calm it down. Striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Do you think this plane is okay? First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking? The windows? You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? leg. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Too much imagination can get you killed.
You were even counting the number of squeaks? If the windows squeak well, of course I'd count them. But I don't hear any squeaking, so I'm not counting squat. You would definitely count them. Definitely, I was. You definitely were. J just, just give me a moment here. You're getting me quite flustered. Leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane, and you'll die. So just keep your fear-mongering to yourself. There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here, then? What are you doing now? I'm rereading my old notes. Your old ones? It's your fault. You've got me all riled up. If the window really is squeaking, I need to check if I've got any notes on what to do about it. I'm sure I had something on it. Hey, you, make yourself useful. While I'm reading, you go around and check the windows for me. Did no complaining, no talking back. Get to work. Hey, hold on. Ready, set, hurry, hurry, hurry! didn't make it in time. Every single person on this plane was counting on you. Hey, can I take a break? You certainly looked capable enough. Can't judge a book by its cover, eh? If someone asks for your help, you be sure and help them, okay?
front is a cherry blossom pattern, and snow is on the back. When did that change over? Like I'm not even here. Marshal, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You think nothing happened at all? I don't need your jabber, boy. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. You've got quite a young wife. Is there a big age gap between you? You're giving courage to men all across our fair nation. If a stony-faced gorilla like you can marry such a young, beautiful creature, there's hope for all of us yet, isn't there? But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Listen up. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. A man is far more than just his looks. My wife understood that well. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. But just what is it? says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board.
It's for Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. <laughs> Things don't come that easy. Believe it. This aircraft is full of danger. You've had enough rest now, Shirley. We need to restart the investigation. Go get to work. Ready? Set? Hurry, hurry, hurry! Every single person. Let's get it right this time. Go get to work. Ready? Set? Hurry, hurry, hurry!
didn't make it in time. Every single... Let's get... Go get... Ready, set, hurry, hurry, hurry! Like I'm not even here. Hmm. It's like I'm not even here. Hmm. It's like I'm not even here. Control will be an issue if I can't find it. <sighs> Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come on. Did that lightning strike you too? She was right here a moment ago. In any case, you need to contact Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Also, get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Detective Forrest Kaysen in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, uh, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? If so, I'll have to stop you. Ugh, damn Next it. time, I'll break more than you watch. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination, Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. This is a problem. Where is it? Are you looking for something? Not at all, Mr. Young. I am completely at your disposal. Have you contacted the airport? Yes, 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 of course. Are you telling me the truth? It looks like you're so busy searching that you haven't done anything yet. I'll find what you're looking for. You just contact the ground. <clears throat> That's very kind of you. Very well. I have lost a glove. A glove? And it has to be this specific one? Yes. It's a special order. Perfectly fitted to my hand. I'm in serious trouble without it. Why is he getting so upset about a glove? He's more high-strung than he looks. Uh, 
Are you looking for something? Not at all, Miss. Alf. <clears throat> that. Uh, yes, I'm in. What? It's more high strung. Tell me, where did she go? Like I said, sir, she's not aboard this flight. That's impossible. I talked to her, and. And what, sir? Olivia had a gun. A gun? Please, don't even suggest such a thing. You've had enough rest. Win. Go get to work. Ready? Set? Hurry, hurry, hurry! Windows aren't squeaking, are they? Yeah, actually, they aren't. I think I can make use of you. Oh, <sighs> there's more. Checking my notes, there's still some stuff I want looked at. Are you with me? Right here. August 3rd, 2009. An article sent to a radio program. August 2009. You've got all your notes going back that far? Of course. If I didn't carry them around with me, I wouldn't be able to look at them when I need them. I suppose that makes sense. Forget that anyway. We've got bigger fish to fry. Did you know? <sighs> Metallic objects. Yes. Tend to rust 
if they aren't taken care of often? If someone isn't doing their job, the rust might bring this plane down. Go and check carefully now. Whoa, hold on. Go get to work. Ready, set, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it! You didn't find a single spot of rust? There's something odd about this aircraft. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, too clean is too suspicious. Hmm, this calls for a complete and thorough investigation. Complete? <sighs> And thorough? We're on the same page here, right? Hey, can I take a break? <sighs> you certainly looked capable enough. Can't judge a book by its cover, eh? If someone asks for your help, <sighs> you be sure and help them, okay? <sighs> <sighs> 